Hey guys, it's Joe from American Trucks, and today we're gonna be taking a closer look at the Barricade HD off-road rear bumper, fitting all 15 and newer F-150s, excluding the Raptor models. Now, this is gonna be a great option for you if you're looking for a high-quality and tough rear bumper that's budget-friendly and retains all of the factory rear bumper features while adding a few of its own as well. So let's get right to the point here. What is the Barricade HD rear bumper made out of? Well, this is 532nd inch cold rolled steel, which is gonna be a huge upgrade in terms of durability over the factory rear bumper. Now we're gonna get the two side by side in just a second here, but if you own an F-150, you probably already know that this department can be lacking a little bit. It's finished in that awesome black powder coating, which is not just there to add to the looks, but it's also going to serve as a layer of protection against the elements. Now, as far as the looks go, I really, really like the look of this rear bumper. Now, one thing I noticed, there is not a single 90 degree angle on there. And in combination with that black powder coating, it really gives you that aggressive stealth B-52 bomber sort of look for the rear of your truck. I really think you can tie the looks of your truck together. It looks especially awesome on our 18 lead foot gray F-150 here. But one of the biggest selling points I think is just how many features you retain with this from the factory rear bumper. So just to go through the list here, you have the license plate lights, the spare tire lock, trailer plug, parking sensors, if your truck has them. If not, the kit does include some plugs, which you can see right here. And you don't see it in this shot, but if you do have that factory hitch or any hitch for that matter, that will mount up and mate up perfectly with this rear bumper as well. So you get to keep all the features your F-150 had from the factory, but this also adds a few of its own. This step right here is going to be great for you when you're getting in and out of the bed of your truck, a nice little piece of utility there. And also we have the ability to add some LED cube lights right here. Now there are none included with the bumper, but if you did have some cube lights, they'd mate right up with the hardware included in the light kit. If not though, you can use these graded plugs as you can see right here. If you do like the look of this one, which I would have to agree with you, I think this thing looks awesome. I think it's one of the best offerings we have on the site for the rear of the F-150. Barricade even offers a matching front bumper to tie together the look of your F-150. But for this one though, as far as pricing goes, we're looking at around 625 bucks for this guy. Now that doesn't include, again, LED lights or any of the factory features that I mentioned earlier, but you can transfer all of those over and get this to exactly where I have it right now. And 625, that is one heck of a budget-friendly price. This thing looks the part. It's got all the features you could ever want. It's got the build quality to back it up too. I really can't find any fault with this one. That is a great price to pay if you're looking to upgrade the rear bumper on your F-150. So whoever engineered this thing really put some thought behind it. And I think that shows the most during the install. I'm gonna give it an easy two out of three wrenches, mainly because this thing is a little bit heavy. I recommend having a buddy and a case of beer around to get this installed on your truck. Should take you no longer than two hours though, provided you come with the right tools. So without any further ado, let me show you what tools you'll need and how it's done. Tools required for this install are going to include an impact or two, U-joint, ratchet, 10 millimeter socket, 17 millimeter socket, 21 millimeter socket, 21 millimeter wrench will also help you out, fair wire cutters, and this Allen key, which does come included in the kit. So first things first, before we get started on removing our factory rear bumper here, we have to disconnect some electronics from it. I'm talking license plate lights, trailer plugs, and if you have any parking sensors back here, you're gonna need to disconnect those as well, but our truck does not, so we're gonna be spared as far as parking sensors go, but we still have to hit those other two things. So we're gonna come back here and unplug them real quick, and then we can move on to the hardware. So as far as our license plate light goes, all you gotta do, grab that counterclockwise twist, that'll fall right out, and we're just gonna tuck it behind our tow bar for now. Same thing goes on the other side, counterclockwise, and that'll pop right out, and we're just gonna drop it down. Next up, we got our trailer plug, which has a little release tab right there. We're just gonna push that in and pull back, and that should come off as well. So now we have all of our electronics disconnected. We can actually start working on the hardware here. 
These 21 millimeter nuts hold the bumper on. There's three on each side. You wanna be careful once you get the last one off because this is all that's holding on our bumper at the moment. So what we're gonna do here is start at the top and work down. Um, these two at the top might be a little bit tough to get to. Space in here is limited for the impact gun. So we're gonna use our old friend, the 21 millimeter ratcheting wrench. Now, just for safety's sake, I'm gonna thread that back on a couple threads. And as far as this bottom one goes, you should have no problem getting the impact gun in for that. And I'm gonna do the same thing for that one. We're gonna loosen up the other side and then get this bumper out of here. So now this bumper is pretty much loose. All we're gonna do is prop it up on the knees here, basically unthread those nuts, and we're gonna take this right off of our truck. So I'm just gonna gently rest that on the studs on that side. Okay, so that is all four. And now we can just back that off of our truck. So before we ditch this rear bumper entirely, we have to completely scavenge this whole thing for all the stuff on here. We're gonna start with these license plate light housings. They come out really easily. Push down on this tap right here to release and it should fall out the front. Same thing goes for the other side. Trailer plug is gonna be very similar, except there's release tabs on both sides. And we can take that out. Also, the lock for the spare tire, that can come with us too. So we're just gonna take the key and unlock that. And that can pull right out too. Now, we're also gonna have to scavenge these three bolts. They're all on one L-shaped plate almost. They have these little lock washers on there though. We're just gonna cut those off with some uh, wire cutters. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side too. So now we can finally start to work with our new barricade bumper here. And as you can tell, there's a lot of stuff for us to install here. We're gonna start with what I think is the easiest one though, the spare tire lock. That's just gonna go in and that's just gonna slide right in. And just like the old bumper, we can lock that and pull out the key. Next up, we're gonna hit our license plate lights. Those are just gonna sit in like so and click into place. Again, just like the factory bumper did on the uninstall. and we're gonna lock in the other side as well. Trailer plug, gonna be real simple. Come in from the bottom and just push that right up into place. Now we could do some of our parking sensor plugs. Now, we don't have sensors to transfer over. If you did, you just put those in just like so. So we don't, but the kit 
has these rubber plugs which plug up the holes obviously so we're just going to jam those in friction holds them really well if you wanted to make sure they never back out there are some optional screws that can thread in here to hold this in place all in all there's four of these locations so we're going to install our four plugs and move right along Next up is going to be where you could put some LED cube lights if you had some. Now, if you did have a pair that you wanted to put in here, it would be really, really simple. You just mount them up with the hardware included in your light kit to this bracket at the top. If you don't have them though, we have these filler plates just to clean up the looks. That's gonna drop in right like that and secure with the hardware included in the kit. Now to lock that in place, we're gonna use the Allen key included in the kit as well as a 10 millimeter socket. And it's gonna be the same exact process on the other side. Now the hardware you're gonna use for this are the bolts, well the button head bolts with the captive washers on there as well as the flange nuts. Um, there is some other hardware included in the kit, but these are the ones that are intended to go right here. And also what I'm doing is I'm just making sure that the button side of the bolt is what's behind this grate right here. So if you do see it, you'll at least see the, uh, the nicer side of the hardware. So now, while this is still on the table, we're gonna prep some of our mounting brackets. We're gonna start with this bolt plate right here. I'm just gonna feed that up through the back, and then we can lock that in with some plastic washers that come included in the kit. And I'm gonna do the same thing over here as well. Now what we're gonna do is grab our mounting bracket. You can see if I flip this over, this one is marked with a D for driver side and we're just going to install this right like so. You wanna make sure this tab out here is toward the bottom of the bumper. Now we can go flat washer, flat washer, nylock nut, Now we're gonna tighten these down with a 17 millimeter socket. And as you can see, these are slotted in both directions. So you get a lot of adjustment here. What we're gonna do is just aim for the middle, snug these up, and if we need to align our bumper a little bit later, we could always loosen these up then. So next, over here on our bracket, we're just gonna grab our factory bolt plate and do the same exact thing. Just gonna give that a washer here. And this makes it really easy. All we're gonna have to do is come straight onto the truck, get these three into their slots, and then we can use our factory nuts to thread them on. But for right now, we're gonna get our bracket started on the other side. So 
Now we have our brand new barricade bumper completely built up. Our stock bumper is completely barren, but before we drop our new bumper in place on our F-150 here, I figured now would be the perfect time to sit the two next to each other and point out some of the differences and mainly the key improvements that our new barricade rear bumper is going to be making for our F-150 over here. The first and most obvious, it's gonna come in the looks department, right? We're losing this body color and all the plastic on this rear bumper over here for some heavy duty 532nd steel plating and it's gonna be sporting that awesome and aggressive black powder coat finish. On top of that angular design, this thing looks amazing. Kind of reminds me of a little bit of a stealth bomber, but definitely a really cool piece. It's gonna add a lot to the looks of the rear of our F-150 right here. Now, it's not all looks, right? This thing is made out of steel. It can definitely take a hit. It definitely looks the part, but it's got a lot of utility as well. And one thing I wanted to highlight is just how many features it retains from this factory rear bumper. Plate lights, trailer plugs, spare lock, parking sensors on there, also transfer over if you got them. And I think what most of you guys are concerned about here on the bottom of our stock rear bumper, you see that trailer hitch. We're gonna skip that today, but if you really wanted it to, that could transfer over as well and it mounts up in between the bumper and the frame on our F-150. Now that barricade keeps a lot of features. We know that, but it also adds some as well. Those steps you see on either side, those are a nice touch when getting in and out of your bed. The Silverados have those nowadays, F-150s do not, and I really, really like that feature. Nice little bit of convenience on there. And again, obviously, if you have some cube lights for this rear bumper, they slot right in, all the brackets are there. If not, you use the filler plates like we did, and you'd be in good shape. So that's pretty much gonna do it as far as differences go between these two. All we're gonna do is take our barricade bumper, put it up on the knees here, get those studs started on our frame on the F-150 and lock them down with that factory 21 millimeter hardware. So now we can move back here. We're just gonna start our nuts. I'm gonna do this one at the bottom. This one at the top, I started while the truck was on the ground. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna get the socket on that, push up to get the alignment started. And then hammer that home. I'll let the impact lock in that bottom one and then we'll hit the top two with the wrench. And the other side's gonna be the same exact thing. Just gonna get these nuts started. And I'm just gonna give it a push up, lock in the alignment, make sure everything is nice and level, then we can tighten down all the hardware. So now we can just lock in our electronics. I'm gonna start with the light here, and that goes into the housing and a clockwise twist to lock it in, as well as our trailer plug, which is just gonna go on the back and clip into place. Don't forget to hit the other license plate light as well. Now guys, that is gonna do it for me. It's also gonna do it for the Barricade HD off-road rear bumper, fitting all 15 and newer F-150s, excluding the Raptor models. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this one. Keep it right here at American Trucks for all things F-150.